What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna show you on how to upgrade or update your Horizon Zero Dawn to the latest version which is the 1.09. First step, all you need to do is to download the file that can be found in the description of this video and uh, please download the file according to your game's version. And second, once you have downloaded the file, simply extract the files from it and copy everything from this folder to your game's folder. So that's it. Your game is now running the latest version. Now let's take a look at the change log real quick. It says here that they have fixed some crash issues and they've also made some performance improvements in this game, which is cool. And what I like about this update is how they lessen the appearance of the shader optimization, you know, because it's getting getting to my nerves, you know, whenever time you have restarted your computer or the game, the shader optimization um, you know, keeps running in the background. Even though you can skip it, but you know, shader shader optimization is important because it can load the games real faster. All right. So next is they've also some made some they have also made some improvements as well. Um, in when it comes to gameplays and graphical improvements. So let's take a look in the game settings real quick. And once you head over to display and graphic settings, you'll see at the bottom here, it says the VRAM, a total amount of um, RAM or video RAM being used by this game, depending on your settings. And uh, let's head over to extras. In this section, you'll know um, what's the current version that you're running. So once you click on it, head over to copy and write and trademark. And at the very bottom of it, you'll see the version of this game, which is 149. Other words, 1.0.9. There you go. So let's go ahead and see the comparison between the 1.0.8.6 versus the 1.09.
So there you have it guys and when it comes to performance I can say that the previous version is slightly better compared to the new one. And as you can see here, um, the previous version can produce additional 3 frames per second compared to the new one. However, you can even barely notice it when it comes to gameplay. Alright, so I want to know your thoughts about the previous version. Would you rather stay on the previous one or upgrade to the latest version? Please let me know in the comment section. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click and like and subscribe for more videos like this. And until then, see you in my next video. Cheers!